All right, students, this video is going to show you how to perform a regression in Excel. So we're going to use two variables. If you all remember from the lecture, um, you need to have two interval ratio level variables in order to perform linear regression. So we're going to choose two variables, education and uh, my educ, which is mother's education. So I'm going to find these two variables. So educ, I'm going to take this and Copy this, already copy this, and move it to a new sheet. And then I'm going to come over and find my edu education. There we go. And I'm going to use my education to put it here. I'm going to put it first because it's actually the independent variable in the education would be the dependent variable in this situation. So now that I have these two variables on this new sheet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, go about cleaning uh, this data. So I know that there's some missing variables, so I'm gonna look at the code book to see. So for educ, only a couple people, only a couple missing variables. So if you're, um, if we see 98 or 99, those are missing uh, values. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna hit Control F. And then we're going to place 98 with nothing, and then 99 with nothing. Okay, we're good with that one. Then we need to find my edge. We need to replace the missing values there. So let's go ahead and find my edge. My education. So we see that 97, 98, and 99 are all missing very missing values. So we're gonna hit Control F. So we know that 99 is a uh, missing value. We're gonna press place. We know that 98 missing value. We're gonna press place, and we're gonna think 97 was also missing value. So for my education, I said 98, 99, we uh, cleaned the data for this. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go about finding, uh, well, well, there's two things. We, we could create a scatter diagram right here. So if I wanted to, I could create a scatter diagram as a type of preliminary analysis. So I can just take all this. Make sure that you don't get educ and then ma educ because what's going to happen in that situation is um, you're going to, you know, have unnecessary like labels and you don't want that. So we're going to insert, we're going to come over here. This is a scatter diagram, it's scatter. And then, so it looks good, but it's kind of hard to read like this. So what we want to do to, to put that line there, to actually have the linear regression line, we're going to put add chart element. We're going to come over to, um, trend line and then we're going to hit linear and this just shows the general trend okay. now i could retitle this and all that stuff but uh i just wanted to show you what to get how to actually create a scatter diagram here okay now that we have that let's go ahead and talk about how you go about finding the y-intercept, the slope, because if you have both the y-intercept and the slope you can find the regression equation which is the predicted value of y is equal to the y-intercept plus slope times the x, or the b times the x, okay? And so in order to find that, you need both the y-intercept and the slope, and then also we can talk about how to go about finding the uh, correlation coefficient and um, the r-squared. So r-squared being the coefficient of determination and then Pearson's r being the correlation coefficient. So one of the first things that we need to do is go about finding the y-intercept. So I'm just going to label y and then intercept here and just expand it a little bit. And then what I need to do here is I need to type in equals and then caps lock intercept. And then it's going to ask me to provide, uh, you know, the, the range of the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in the range of the data, which is going to be C2, because it's going to ask for the Y first and the X second. So 
the y here, which is the dependent variable, is education. And the x, which is the independent variable, is mother's education. So I'm going to put parentheses. I'm going to put c two two, and I think it goes all the way down to five oh one. I'm not 100 percent sure. C2 to 501 to C501, and then I'm going to hit D2 to E501, parentheses, and then that'll give me the Y intercept there. Okay. Um, and I guess all of everything needs to be uh, capitalized as well. And then, so that's how you go get the y-intercept. Now, if you want the slope, you're going to hit slope. And then you're going to do something similar here, which is you're going to put equals to slope. Slope. And I'm, I want the exact same data, so I'm just going to copy it from here. Then that will give me the slope for this data. So the slope is 0.329. Um, so now that I have the y-intercept and I have the slope, I could use the y or the predicted value of y is equal to the y-intercept, which is 9.047, um, plus the slope, which is 0.329, uh, times whatever our x is. So if we know the x, which is we know uh, mother's education, we can predict, uh, you know, how many years of education that respondent has. Okay, so that's how you go about finding the y-intercept and slope, and with those two pieces of information, you can go about finding uh, the regression line. Now, to find both the r squared and the Pearson's r, what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put r squared here. Um, And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put equals to, and then I'm going to get in to make sure my caps lock is on R S Q. And then again, I'm still using the exact same data. So I'm going to put that data back there and then I'm going to press enter. And that'll give me my R square. And then obviously for the R, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Pearson's R, or I can just put R. R, which is the correlation coefficient. I think it depends on how you want to label it. Actually, I'll just put Pearson's R because it'll help me remember that it's Pearson's R. There's also a different name, correlation coefficient. So now that we have that, we're going to put equals to, and we're going to put peer sun and then i'm going to put that exact same data that we've had that we copied from there and then so this is our uh correlation coefficient so this is our r squared this is our correlation coefficient so that's how you go about finding um the pieces of information that you would need um for um performing regression analysis so you get the y-intercept so r squared pearson's r and you also learn how to create a scatter diagram um, so that's how you do it for uh, this regression, linear regression.